this is Sabina at Cross Keys Crafts. Today with another haul I want to show you some paper pads that I bought recently at the works and from Craft Stash. I've also bought some other things but I'll spare you with those today and I'll show you them when I'm actually going to use them. I just thought these were really good bargain. These are really really versatile and I didn't want you to miss out in the next few weeks just in case these aren't available anymore in the near future. So the first items are from the work. So if you are in the UK, have a look out for these. This is a little paper pad. It's 30 sheets, um, 10 designs, three sheets each, 100 GSM. So very nice for putting this on a mat and it's only £1.50. And these are... I assume they're six by six, yes, six by six square. And these have got really, really beautiful uh, images, flowery images. This is actually funny because I'm sure I've got this one in a 12 by 12. So these are very nice for Mother's Day. This, you've got some plainer ones that are very versatile for other themes. But these flowers are really beautiful, flowers and butterflies. And these are beautiful in the colours. So if you like your flowery cards, they're really worth getting. And again, you've got similar, I think the same colour as this one here. Well, similar colour. Very versatile for various themes. But the flowery images are really nice. And if you're into matting and creating flowery cards, even as mats, then... This one's definitely for you. This is why I chose this. I was inspired by uh, Gemma from Gemma Lee Crafts. She always has, has, or mostly has, flowery designs in the background. And I'm really getting into this at the moment. Then another one, same price point. Again, 30 sheets, uh, 3 by 10 designs and 100 GSM. This one I thought was really, really nice because... It has got these backgrounds that look like you've created them with um, what they call, you know, like the liquid inks on your pour paper. If you, when you make them yourself, uh, this sort of paint pouring or whatever it's called. I never got into this, but when I saw this, I thought, well, these are lovely backgrounds that I can use. Um, like other people use the, the backgrounds they create themselves. And then again, you've got the neutrals. So this is another one of them. And then you've got the neutrals here. This is sort of a orangey-yellow, little um, white hearts on some pink. I know my camera doesn't pick them up. Before, for my, um, example, my nail, nail polish is really bright pink and it doesn't really pick up the colours but they are really nice and very versatile. That's the same pattern as on the back, but in a sort of purplish blue. So, and then you've got polka dots here. I love polka dots. And then some stripes. So very versatile. And I thought, again, good price point for that price. And then I bought two um, 12 by 12 uh, pads I actually bought them in different shops at first I bought this one and then I saw this one in different works shops so I had to get that one as well they're only four pounds again it's a great price point you get 24 sheets they're double-sided 230 gsm and this one is sort of a mint green and they're sort of pinks and um, corals and again flowery but also some plain designs that you can use with other themes let me turn this sideways so you can see start in the back so funnily enough this looks very much like the one you've got on the small pad so you can probably um, mix these pads so you've got a mint background and then these look a little bit like hibiscus flowers it's really nice and as i said some very plain um chevrons here and uh, pink and white so good for other themed cards and just some foliage let me just flick through so these were the hearts and some berries and foliage some busier than others again these very nice for plain cards but i just love the color mix and the pattern mix so lots of versatile let me just move this up a bit my camera stand is a bit wobbly at the moment doesn't want to stay up anymore so uh, yeah very versatile um, 
papers here for different themes really and I also like this one here which is sort of flowery but again it's just a pattern so and I love the mix of the mint and the coral this one actually I've got a similar pad that has got these cherry blossoms they're very nice and then you've got the a bit again like cherry blossoms but on a pink bank background polka dots again and some more chevrons here so I'm just flicking through for you to see it and then it starts again so that's really nice especially as I said if you like flowery cards if you're looking for something for Mother's Day these are really really lovely let me just put this out of the way so and the other one that really appealed to me completely different style is this one it's called home sweet home and what appealed to me were these blue and white ones they to me look like some dutch porcelain and i really really like that one and the other colors are sort of a very blush um coral and so a blush um beigey color it's difficult to describe just f shortly flicking through this but this is lovely and I've got a, a nice idea again how I'm going to use this. It also has got toppers in it. Oh, there you go. There's a Dutch theme there for you. So I wasn't far off when I said that. The Dutch little, two little dolls that like to kiss. If you've ever been to the Netherlands, that's what they got there. So again, I like this. The blush pink here with a bold blue. Really lovely. And then you've got some Dutch houses as well. This is very busy. I'm not quite sure yet how I would use this, but again, you've always got the other side to use, and that's again, it's toppers, and it's quite nice to have toppers if you like matting and creating quick cards. So, really lovely papers again. This looks like tiles, so I really love this one. Again, if it's not your style, it might not be for you, but it definitely appealed to me. Okay, now the other ones. Now these two are from Craft Stash. This one is from Katie Skilton. I had to think for a second what her surname is. And this really appealed to me. I love leopard print. And she mixes leopard print with yellow. And I thought these were really, really nice. Again, I like this sort of whole mix of having the um, bold pattern print. But also have something flowery and I just want to show you these to you they're only um, just under seven inches by five inches so it's not a big pad pad but very versatile again so you've got a choice of toppers some are really really small just like a stamp but these oh my god these are absolutely beautiful And that's the front of the pack. So it's called Gorgeous Girls Paper Pack. But I'm going to link to it below in the description box. So again, I'm just flicking through. So I've got the florals. And this is the one that I absolutely love. And again, polka dots, but random. And lovely, lovely basic flowers. Um, I just love the colour combination here. And I want to do a video where I show you how to combine um, paper papers that don't obviously seem to go together, but that actually um, make a really great contrast, something like this. So I think these, we've seen them all there. So yeah, that was really nice. And I normally don't buy paper pads that I haven't really seen, so I don't try not to buy online. But this one, I saw a few samples in her recent YouTube videos and I thought it was absolutely lovely. And the other one that appealed to me that I got from uh, Craft Stash is this one here. Simply Made Crafts by Helen Griffin. And again, I like this sort of blue um, colour here that almost again looks like tiles, but like Moroccan tiles. And she's got a choice here. It's called Oasis Days and Nights Paper Pack. So it's got some cooler bluish colors and then it's got these really really bold colors there uh, with some warmish tones 
this is my favorite pattern ever i like the cut for you i think it's called and you've got this pattern here in the warm pink and orange with almost like a gold print and then you've got the same pattern here in navy or dark blue on grey so I'm not taking this out so I'll just show you the topper here but these are 12 by 12 sheets and I, I think they're beautiful so yeah as I said I've got a few videos coming up using these showing you how to make some match pattern papers I'm really intrigued to see if I can match these two they've got the same pattern but obviously absolutely contrasting colors so I see how I can combine these so yeah, I've got lots of projects in mind for these. Not enough time at the moment to video some, but uh, yeah, I'll have a go at these. And I'll see you soon for my next video.